modern and contemporary. Truly a combination of interior design you can't say no to. Today we are at Bangkok and we're here to see a four-bedroom HDB modern contemporary flat. If you're ready, let's go. Hello everyone, hi, how are you? Hello. Nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> Thanks for having me in this beautiful, beautiful house. How are you? Good? I'm good. <laughs> okay, so Avril, can you tell me the theme and inspiration behind this beautiful house? Okay, the theme for this house is modern contemporary. So actually what we're trying to do is combine Victorian feel and modern contemporary together. Uh, this is because my homeowner, they mm. prefer blue but yet Victorian theme. And also at the same time is uh, modern atas and hotel feel. Great, sounds good. So shall we check out the house? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. This is a beautiful feature wall. Can you tell me more? Okay, this one is actually a laminate we apply on solid plywood, so it's not wallpaper. Uh, but we try to find the very natural kind of marble laminate so that uh So you have lights on top and I understand you have lights below as well. So what's with the lights below this feature wall? Okay, because this one is suspended TV console and the whole area we try uh, we use black and also very dark colour of laminate. So if we input the light here, right, the everything will look like uh, floating. Yeah, so oh. That is smart, okay. So talk about the TV console, you have this uh, black panels as well, it's part of the console. Is there a reason for the black panels? Okay, this one, uh, when you open this, okay. Okay, you will realise this one is actually transparent. So we, when we close this and we sit on the sofa, right? Oh, okay. Okay, then we can use our remote control. Oh, so you don't have to get up and open up and so you can yeah. use the... Okay, oh, well that's really smart as well, If you, especially if you have a device below inside the console. So I see different themes for this kitchen. Yeah, do you remember at first I told you that owner prefer modern contemporary but also Victorian theme? This is the area that we input the Victorian concept. So you can see from the kitchen cabinet, right? We try to do the bidet frame for the kitchen cabinet. Because for Victorian theme, right? This one is so-called the uh, 重点. Okay. Uh, so we input the bidet, bidet frame. frame. Okay, so let's talk a bit about the backsplash. Usually people use tempered glass for backsplash. Okay, for this project, right, we choose tiles for the backsplash is because if we use the tempered glass, the whole will look too dark. So we choose this tiles with a little marble wall to match the dining table. Uh, we, we do a lot of research on our appliances because uh, my husband likes dark colours, like all things in black, even my dog also. And so, uh, our aircon, our air fryer, even the rice cooker also in black. Like our tinted glass, our sliding doors and also our toilet doors are all in black. That actually brings out the posh feel in my opinion. So this one is actually a feature wall. Okay, when you take closer look for this laminate, right? Actually, it's come with very thin lines. Oh yes, I can feel it. Yeah, okay, this is the reason why we don't choose solid black. Okay, this one is it will look a reflection so it will look like it doesn't have the whole space because we already use solid color. Oh, okay, so it provides a very nice texture here. Yeah. Okay, it reflects some light as well, you know? Yeah, like different, okay. different shades of light yeah, that is correct. reflected. Okay, let's do I got a surprise for you. Really? What's the surprise? Oh wow, there's a door here. Oh, this is the bomb shelter. Yeah, so actually this one is a hidden door. Oh, this is so smart. Wow, glass doors? Yeah, so what we did for this area is we knocked down the wall and allowed the light to come in for the dining area. Okay, and, and you're using black tempered glass? Yeah, correct. Black tempered glass to match our theme. Okay. Mm. And also my customer is a makeup artist, so uh, they will do makeup. So we need to provide a bit of privacy. Oh, okay. So can we check out inside? Yeah, sure. So this is a pink wall, but it's so different from the rest of the house because the rest of the house is dark. Yeah, because my customer is makeup artist, so we don't want this space too manly. That's why we input pink wall for this area. Ah, okay, because brights mostly come in here. Actually, we have a lot of conflict. During our decision, he wanted black or grey colours, but I wanted 
the walls into pink. Which I stopped her because full pink doesn't work on me. And eventually we decided to go 50-50. So one wall is on pink and one wall is on grey. Yeah. So this is a special milk, specially built display. Yeah, this one is so-called a dressing table. So we do a glass panel here and this kind of drawer for her to put her tiara. So that uh, when bright is here, then they can choose easily. Oh, okay, very nice. And, and here will be the storage platform. So when you current like, or have friends come, they can take a nap. So this is a custom built? Yeah, custom built. Together with the entire display? Yeah, and we use the same limit with the living area. Okay, so oh. this is currently a work room? Yeah, and in the future, can become her daughter's room. Oh, daughter's room, but yeah. glass door. So if the daughter brings in the boyfriend, then no privacy. <laughs> so no hanky-banky in this room. <laughs> so, master bedroom. Yeah, this one is a custom-made bed frame with king-size bed and also here is the bed head. So this bed head actually is come with an LED light strip to make the whole ambience more romantic. Oh, so make yeah. more babies. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk yeah, about right. the bed frame. I realise that the edges are round. Yeah, it's very safe. Let's see, you okay? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I was taking my time <laughs> because uh, I was admiring this feature wall as I was doing my business. Beautiful feature wall in the toilet. Yeah, this one is a homogeneous tiles with marble print. Okay, so we, what we're trying to do here is we try to match the smaller tiles with the bigger tiles. You can see from here. Yeah, so you can see that it's actually its print and here print is close. We try to find the same because we want to achieve simple but not too simple kind of feel. For the BTO, you have to remember that three years ago, you can't hack the house for the toilet. If you hack the water, the water waterproofing warranty will not be there. Oh. Yeah, so for this project, we actually did is overlay tiles. Oh, I see. Let's talk about this marble basin. Is this marble? Oh, no. It's not marble. It's, it's not marble? Wow. Yes, it's normal ceramic sink oh. with marble print. Oh, wow. So this is actually, this looks really nice and it's value for money. Yeah, but right. actually, you know how much it is? How much is it? It's around 200 plus. It's quite similar with normal ceramic. $200, wow. This is such a fantastic deal and it looks really, really nice too. So ever the million dollar question, how much does this renovation cost? The entire renovation costs around $50,000. $50,000. So if you want to see more crazy nice homes, please remember to like this video here and also subscribe to this channel. Please click here. So with that, we now certify this house an official crazy nice home. Thank you very much everyone for sharing us for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.